State Lockdown University class is in session, man. Check it out. Today's lesson, help side defense, rotations, and committing to the rotation. All that good stuff, man. So more or less what we're going to do is just go over this stuff today. Uh, tomorrow, we got an excellent video coming up by my boy Gambito. Y'all see him right here. He's in the witness protection program. Normally, he got the green hair. You can't even see what it is. He got on the spot. We didn't even know it was him. But anyway, like I said, we're going over this. It's going to be help side defense. It's going to be rotations, switching, trusting your teammates, trusting everybody, all of that stuff. The switches and all of that, they will not work if you do not trust each other. You gotta trust each other, but also more importantly than that, me, my biggest mistake is, or my biggest thing is, I'll make a call and then I'll see somebody going somewhere else, so I'll try to cover and think that they didn't hear me or they didn't get there in time. Normally, basically, I play with guys that's so quick on the draw that when I make a call, about what I'm gonna do, just tell them what you're gonna do, and then do what you said you're gonna do because they're gonna react. They don't react off of you. If if you make the call, and then you see them going somewhere else, they haven't heard you yet, so they they can't react to the call yet. But once you do, once you do something different, or you say, okay, well I'm gonna try to compensate for them, what ends up happening is you might guys might get crossed up, and you'll you'll end up giving up a three point shot or something like that. You never want to do that. Make the call. Go with the call. It's something that I'm learning myself, but I don't know if my teammates are going, going to do what I want them to do, man. But I've been playing with these guys for like four years since uh, for the last four 2Ks, five 2Ks, 2K20, 21 current, 21 next, uh, and 20. Yeah, so the last four, five 2Ks, man, whatever y'all want to call it, man. But like I said, before we do that, we're going to get into the video, but make sure y'all like the video and comment LDU at the end of your comment down there, man because that will enter you into two things. You're gonna be entered into to get a next gen console. Um, and if that's if we can average 10K views, we are on track to average 10K views right now. So make sure you, you do that. And then also every single Friday, no matter what, we give away $50 in Cash App or VC, or if you don't have the game, I'm buying it for you, man. So like I said, make sure y'all do that. Like the video, comment LDU down below. And uh, without further ado, man, let's just get this video, let's get the video underway, man. First things first, this is just an ordinary play. Dude coming up court, <laughs> Brute, I mean, he goes straight to Brute, he say get it out of there. It really looks really simple, but a lot of times what's gonna end up happening is this. Gambit's pressing coming up court, this guy thinks that he's much better than Gambit at the game, right? The average person you feed their ego, he's gone by Gambit. What you see right here, Brute gonna be white. What you see right here, Brute is literally, uh, they, didn't, they didn't give me my arrow, give me the arrow. Brute is literally looking right here at this guy. Gambit on the other hand is looking to fill in right here. He's gonna go and rotate whatever it is. Me, there's nothing for me to do. All I gotta do, hold my guy and stay with him. So, what you're gonna see happen is Gambit, the guy, Gambit lets the guy go, but he's not gonna let him go anywhere where he can hurt us. And then, while he's doing that, he's just gonna go ahead and drift on off and cover Brute's guy, and then Brute can go up with with uh, with all the, the certainty in the world, and he's able to block the shot. Just get the shot out of bounds, man. Y'all y'all already know what it is. Can I get my Kevin Garnett? Can I get my Kevin Garnett in here? Y'all see what happened when he go up. He just said, shit out of here, nigga. Hey, that's how it goes, man. So y'all know what it is, man. That's 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 what it is. It's real simple. This is like one of the most simple rotations, one of the most simple things you can do. Make this guy think he's the best player in the world. He thinks he's beat you off the dribble. You got, you got help here. He gonna fill that in. Like I said, there's nothing I can do. We're, we're pretty much, we're out of the play. We over here out of the play, and then you got where you see him going there. There's no need for you to do anything else. You just need to go on over here and pick his man up. And uh, not getting confused on that, you're going to get the block every time, or you're going to get some type of stop inside, and that's going to give you back a uh, possession. On this play right here, we're just going to let it play right through. Going up, we kind of get we kind of get crossed up there, but we are, we're able to get the stop, and we're able to... Uh, you know, Gambit able to come down there, get the three-point shot off. But man, I just want to go backwards, and we're gonna look and see how this actually, how this all actually happened. So right here, they ran, they tried to run, a, they tried to run a quick cross, right? Now, I see him running across. You already see, as you can see, my head is here to uh, to take on the to take on the guy here. You see, Brute's head, Brute's head is here. He's gonna take on whoever comes. Now, you might be thinking that I'm going to take on. The dribbler, which that is my first instinct. But 
I have to know that this guy right here is gonna have to be accounted for because if he, if this fellow, if this guy attacks the lane, then Brutus is already here. He's gonna take care of all of this inside. Gambit is gonna go and take Brute's man outside. So he's gonna come up in here, he's gonna take anything in there, but he's really gonna, gonna go with this guy. That's really the only place he can go is go to the left, right? And then I'm gonna take that fella right there. And you're gonna see, you're just gonna see how the play plays through and progresses. Right here, he's already in the uh-oh circle. So I took a, I took a swipe because I know that this is, because I know that this fella right here is, is my guy. I took that swipe and then I didn't get it. Now Gambit is already on his horse to get out here and uh, to get to that guy. Now, let's see what happens. You see him, he tried to dot that guy. You see Gambit was already there. Look at the contest that he's able to get out of there. Look at the distance that he's able to cover because we got speed. Before he can even take the shot, he's there. Let's see what type of contest. He, I mean, dude just fell down. He was able to, because he got on his horse immediately, once he recognized the switch, once this guy, once this fellow attacked the paint, right? I know that this is my guy right here. There's nothing else for me to do. I gotta take him, wherever he goes, I'm going with him. Gambit knows that he gotta help the helper. Boom, that's what we know right there. And like I said, you already see it. His head is, his head is over here. He's headed to him. Everybody's on their assignment. And then we're just gonna go through it slowly here. We know how 2K is. You can't really take shots like that. So boom, not only does he get a great contest, but the dude falls down, Brute gets the rebound, gets it out of his hands immediately, and we get a free three on the other end, man. You got, you just gotta love it, man. Up next, we got another play, man. Here we go right here. Check this one out, boom. Dude's, dude's driving. Gambit could have picked up that, but we didn't want him to pick it up. And I'm gonna show y'all how that worked out in our favor right now. Let me just show, show y'all how, how we did this one right here. So, he's attacking. He's attacking right here. You already know that I reach. I reach because I reach because I know I got help. Gambit's eyes are on him. If this guy, and then there's only two people down here also, they're trying to do one of those things when they come up late. You know how people walk up the court late or whatever. So Gambit's eyes are on him. So, but also Gambit has his guy who's gonna try to uh, drop to the basket. If his guy drops to the basket, that only helps us. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow him slowly up into this corner. And then Gambit, he's gonna play this in between like area right here, right? So he's gonna try to deny that pass, but also deny him from being able to, to do anything, right? It's a two, it's a three on one because the dude's walking up slowly. He's actually killing this team by doing that, right? So look, you see, you see what happened right there? He gave me enough time. He's giving me enough time to get back. He sees that I caught up with him. So he's going to immediately drop back and pick his guy up. Meanwhile, Bruce guy's trying to sidle up here and try to get to the corner. We see it happening. He's like right here. He's gonna come up, he's gonna come in the screen in a second. You're gonna see him come in, boom. He's there, Bruce on his man. Dude try to cross over, he, he crosses over, comes out of the corner. Now, what is he gonna do? You already see Bruce, Bruce, Bruce's eyes are right here. He's not, the, the main thing that he's gonna do, he's, he really wants to take away this. If he wants to try to come up here and fade, he's gonna take away that for me. I'm gonna trail him, but, the main thing is, if he drives, then I have to, I gotta be ready to take Gambit's guy because Gambit's gonna challenge that. Fortunately, this fella stays in the paint and uh, I guess this other guy, he felt like Brute didn't see him. Obviously, you're gonna see Brute falling back to the corner. You see him You see him going back to the corner right there? He's just up in there. He, he takes a bad shot, goes up on Gambit. He lets Gambit, he lose that. Pretty much when you do something like that, he lets one person guard two people and then you get your man dunked on on the other end. And this play right here, Real quick, one. I mean, I mean, it's not even, it's not even a, 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 not even a whole lot of anything right here. Gambit makes that guy pick up the ball, and then we just make a great rotation right there. And like I said, these things don't seem like they're that, they're that crazy, but it's just super subtle. Like Gambit's pressing him coming up the court. Like we're just gonna back it up. Gambit's pressing him coming up the court. He already made him drop it right here. We are gonna freeze it. Look, there's nothing for me to do other than to go to my guy, and then you see brute. Brute is right here looking at his fella right here. Gambit is, Gambit's looking at his guy. Bam, everybody's got everybody's got an eye on their guy, right, bam. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm obviously going to the corner with my guy, I'm gonna take, take care of that. Brute, he's got the option play. If this guy dives and comes in here on him, he's gonna pick him up. So if he dives, Brute will pick him up. But if this guy, uh, but really right now we're in, a, we're in a place of power 
because there's nothing that we got to do. He can't shoot it from right here. And the only thing Gambit got to do is stand right here, and we're going to off, go off for the pass. So let's see what he did. Look, right here, boom. He makes the pass. Root tried to get the steal, but he wasn't able to. But then he just, you know, I don't understand what this guy was doing right here. He didn't get the pass, but he wasn't able to. But it's a good steal attempt because he's still in great defensive position. There's nothing that this guy can do. If you try to go to the rim, he's going to stop him. And as y'all can see, he's already there. Great stop. Get the board. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because we already know he got it. And then y'all see me with my, y'all see me with my weak ass contact dunk. Let's see what we got right here, man. It's another one of these, man. This is a blitz. This is just an all out blitz. I'm not going to lie to y'all. These are things you have to be looking for. Now, look. This is what we are this is what we are seeing right here. They are trying to run some type of freaky cross, right? You see this. They're trying to run some type of freaky cross. Now you all oh, he even sets the screen. Right here, danger zone. Cue up Tom Cruise. Highway to the danger zone. There is a cluster in here, right? There's there, nothing good happens when you got a cluster right there. You see me on my horse already. I mean, once I saw that, I bolted to that area because I knew what he was gonna do. He tries to set the screen on Gambit, right? I know that we've been watching this guy all day. The only thing he get, the only thing he does is the behind the back. Because I know he's gonna do that behind the back, I'm literally gonna run straight to this spot. You see, Brute, Brute is already looking. He's gonna pick up the guy on this on this side right here if he uh if he tries to come through. Brute's gonna pick him up. He still got everything in the paint. I don't know why I didn't switch for him. He got everything in the paint. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that guy when he comes over there, and then Gambit is gonna stick with the guy that set the screen. And you're gonna see what happened right here. I, I'm just gonna I bolted over there because I knew what it was. And as soon as he did it, let me get that man. That's what that's what we do. You can't you can't dribble in a crowd like this uh, against us, and we already know what time it is. So bam, got the steal. Get the ball out of my hand immediately. And then, you know, set up, and then we get a free bucket right here. Brute, Yopperson. Up next, here's just a, this is a real simple rotation right here. Dude's dribbling. He thinks he's saucing. He thinks he's saucing. He thinks he's saucing. Bam. I mean, it, it's just not a whole lot to it right here. This is just real solid defense. But I want y'all to see what we're doing right here. This is something that a lot of people, they they just won't do. So you saw you saw what happens, right? Right here, we just gonna we just gonna uh, go from the beginning because I know y'all got to get up out of here. I got him right here. I am literally playing him hard to this side because I know that if I usher him to brute, you already see brute. You already see brute standing right here. His head is this way, right? This is what we want to happen. A lot of times, people are gonna think that they beat you off the dribble. This is what we want to happen. If he beats, once he beats me, you see this guy right here. This is brute's guy. This is brute's guy. I'm going to I'm going to do whatever I can to get the Brutes guy so Brute can play defense right here with confidence. I want him to be able to play defense right here with confidence. And on the backside, you see Gambit. He just shadowing his guy. But in case this dude tries to make a pass or something across here, he's not going to be able to make it. So, bam! You see what you see what happens? We're just going to go a little bit further. He passes the ball to him. Now you see me. I'm just really right here. Right here, I'm just gonna maintain distance just in case he tries to throw it. I want, I really want to try to get this little quick steal. I probably am gonna go for it. Nope, I just maintain distance. Right here, boom. Now, here we go. Here's the switch and the cross up, right? We see it, I call it, I call it. I say, hey, Gambit, you gonna switch. So Gambit's gonna take him. I'm gonna take this guy right here. This is this is my area right here. Root is on this guy right here. Now, the next thing that's gonna happen is I try, obviously I tried to get the steal, I tried to get the steal. Once Bruce saw me try to get the steal, what did he do? His eyes immediately go to this guy. So now my assignment is to get the Brutes guy as quickly as possible. Gambit is gonna follow this fella on the perimeter right here. And then, uh, you know, he's just gonna keep, keep, keep doing what he has to do. So, continue on. Boom, he goes up. You see me making a B line. You see me making the B line right here. Even though my head's there, I'm making the B line the Brutes guy to make sure that he can't pass it. Dude goes up and it's a snatch block i mean it's, it's it's really it's really that simple in a lot of cases to uh i don't know why why i be doing this sometimes man it's really that simple in a lot of cases man let your guy be comfortable he knows that he can fully commit to this because i've got him look look at how look at how look at my actual positioning on this right here you see by the time he goes up if he tries to pass this 
There's no way that he could pass this here. Gambit is in straight deny position. There's nothing he can do. And so he had to go up with it. He gets the shot blocked, bam. We go back down court and uh, you know, free bucket, man. They, that's, that's what it's all about, free buckets. And last but not least, sometimes you just wanna f around a little bit. Look at that boy Gambito. You try to go for the steal. All y'all get dunked on for the game, baby. That's what for the game. Bust down, Tatiana. Yeah. I want to see you bust out. Anyway, man, hopefully that you guys enjoyed this, man. That was just Lockdown University. Uh, another episode, switching, knowing what to look for, trusting your teammates, and that's how we do it. If y'all want something more in-depth, I think somebody wanted to pick and roll, so we're going to go off of that tomorrow. Not tomorrow, one of these days this week. Um, you know, like I said, we'll, put, we'll do one of those this week and see how that goes. Make sure you put lockdown, like the video and put lockdown university LDU at the end of your comment, man, because we want to make sure that you guys get entered to win that next gen console and that you get entered to win, um, win that $50 in cash out that we're giving away Friday, man. And other than that, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please, guys, please.